Hey plant gang, I'm actually standing here in front of one of my absolute favorite trees on the University of Tennessee campus. It's Circidophyllum japonicum, the Katsura tree. And this tree is a plant that really is, I would say an underused plant in the landscape. I think that every landscape deserves to have a Katsura tree in it when possible. There's also a, re a weeping variety that's quite popular. Uh, this plant has a beautiful form and texture to it. Uh, but when it comes alive, it's in the fall. It's one of the only trees that I know of that actually, when it turns into fall color, it actually has a fragrance. And the fragrance almost, it almost smells like burnt sugar or cotton candy and really makes this one of the best trees uh, that you can add to a large park, a home landscape, any place that you've got room for it. So here we've got the foliage of Circidophyllum or the Katsura tree. You can see that it's oppositely arranged. The buds are slightly unique. Uh, but uh, a little bit of a heart shape here on the top. The younger leaves have a little bit of a, a narrower appearance to them. You can typically see the venation quite prominently on this plant. Uh, depending on which tree, some of the new growth can have a little bit of purple in it. And in fact, there's cultivars that are known to have uh, purple foliage. Circidophyllum japonicum, the Katsura tree. When you uh, look at this plant first, look at that nice, beautiful, kind of light tannish bark uh, that is kind of gets in strips as, it, as the plant ages. Now younger trees uh, won't have quite this exfoliation of bark or plate like bark that you see there uh, when they're younger but as the tree really gets older you can see uh, what beautiful character it starts to develop. Hardy from zones four through eight it does have a yellow or maybe even an apricot colored fall color depending on the year. And again, that when it turns to fall color, uh, when the leaves start to senesce, you're going to get a fragrance from that, and it smells a little bit like burnt sugar. 40 to 60 foot high, spreading out 30 to 50 foot wide. Does stay a little bit pyramidal in youth, but then really is variable and opens up in maturity. Really a nice plant, no serious diseases and in insects. Uh, it can get a little bit of sun scald if it's not adequately uh, moist. If you don't let it get a little bit of moisture, it can get a little bit of sun scald. I'm talking about kind of browning to the edges of the leaves. And here's a landscape tip. Tree whose texture is pleasing in any garden. Amazing cotton candy fragrance in the fall.